Yo, 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 what is good, everybody? This is the Burton Burger Podcast, episode 176. I'm Bert, and this is Burger. How's it going? Good. Yeehaw. Well, it's a new day in Burton Burgersville. Mm-hmm. Nice sunny day. I am in a new location that is undisclosable, I believe. Why? I don't know. I was thinking whether or not to do it, but... Why are you in a new location? Oh, because I have a big new job. woo After graduating, moved cross-country. So that's fun. I had to deal with all that bullshit today. Now I'm pretty sure I'm sick from either the cocksuckers on the plane or from the recycled air in this uh, pet hotel. So, tons of fun. I saw on Snapchat, you can um, see stories in your area... And there Mm -hmm. was a girl that posted a story basically right on top of your hotel. Uh If you zoom in on you, you should be able to see it (laughs) as well. And she posted a picture, like a video of her feet dumping coins on it, saying, don't know how feet pics can pay for my child's lunch or something, but... (laughs) okay. If the next person that sends blah, blah, blah. Oh, now Snapchat's being bashful. It's like, don't talk about me like that. Don't be shy. Let's see if I can find it. Maybe she took it down. Well, she said send it to the next person to send blah, blah, blah. I guess somebody sent whatever she wanted. (laughs) But literally, it was a girl dumping coins on her feet. Talking about how um, feet pics pay for her kids' toys or Christmas presents. I don't know. (laughs) So that's where Bert's fuck? at now. Hell yeah, baby. Bert was Holy the one that sent the... Just... Oh, here it is right here. Not sure why my feet help feed my child, dot, dot, dot. But the next person to send me $6.66... Keeps going away real quickly. Cool classic. Gets to choose the next color. Make it hail or give me a dollar to stop. Damn, let's see. On the road and forgot to post this earlier. Sorry. Or show this to someone you don't like. And it's literally just a girl with her foot like on a pillow dumping coins on her feet. It's literally like right below your little guy in Snapchat. Freakazoid. Can you see it? There's a lot here. I'm going to I'm going to just screenshot it, fucker. I don't care. <laughs> I know I'm cooking. Okay, here you go. This is uh There's so this much is what how do you, I see. Okay. Do you actually know how to how the fuck do you put stories up like this? It it's like a post like to location option? or something like that, I believe. Oh. Your yeah, it's it These says snap crazy. map. Add your snap to the map. Okay. Yeah, no, I moved to a fucking a city that's a bit bigger than what I'm used to and it's a little bananas. Holy fuck. Somebody upstairs pouring into his woman. <laughs> or his man. <laughs> yeah. No, that's man fucking I can tell. It's a little too aggressive. Okay. Bert that's had to nice. whisper just in case he could hear through the floor over the moaning of his man. Just in case. Oh, there he goes again. Yeah. So this is whispering Bert era again. Because I turned everything off so it's nice and quiet and crispy in here thinking about what all's notable about my trip today yeah so i sent you the picture of the girl's feet yeah i saw that i think she's in the same hotel as you <laughs> she probably is she's probably upstairs yeah. right now <laughs> oh shit guessing that guy sent her six dollars and 66 cents yeah that's literally yeah that's i think there's actually another hotel that's right there too so yeah yep there it is there she could be so yeah i'm in a hash house guys <laughs> please save me Nope, you did this to yourself, Bert. It's actually pretty sick. There's a fucking a full fridge, microwave, dishwasher, stove top, full kitchen amenities, free laundry. Well, it's probably not free. They got laundry. Yeah, maybe it is free. Fuck, I don't know. They had a whole bunch of shit. Pretty neat. Pretty neat little joint they put me up in. And the first thing you did was stop at Wendy's. Yeah. I know. I thought we were starting a little bit earlier, and then I'm like, ugh. Yeah. That's why you got fast food? Oh, yeah. I didn't want to go... I don't want to go get groceries or nothing this late at night. Why? Oh, because I'm I'm zooted. Oh. Well, that's just from you being tired. That has nothing to do with the 
time of day. Well, it's also late. Hey, there's there, it's I, nine I don't o'clock. Base my decisions off of only one thing. It's so. nine o'clock, and you traveled all fucking day today, so that's probably yeah. why you don't have to act like you're fucking are just. It's a late. I'm scared. Tired. Yeah. It's dark out. Yeah. Yeah. There's see, multiple. See, this I don't is know the why thing you always Bert. think there's only he one has fucking to say reason why somebody can't do something. And then he goes off and says one reason, and then as soon as you say one thing, he breaks down his whole entire argument. Yeah, I say one thing to get you off my dick, and then you fucking hop right on and start spinning. Because the it's one like, Jesus thing Christ. that you say is uh, <laughs> really fucking dumb. That's not dumb. Yeah, it is. Why? I don't you feel were like, I don't want to go outside. No, that is not at all what you said. You said I said it's too it's late, late, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, being uncomfortable with a city that be, you're not. Why does that matter? Yeah, exactly. That's what, what it was. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about it as I go. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, not a bad answer. It's a pretty shitty answer. Yeah. It's pretty cool, though. When I got to the new city that I'm in, um, the plane wasn't able to touch down because uh, there was a fucking storm right over top of the airport. So here I am, twiddling my fingers, saying my prayers, saying my goodbyes. <laughs> like, cool. I'm never going to fucking... Record I'm another episode the of the ground. B&B ever again. <laughs> yeah, I was bugging. And finally we fucking... He's just like, fuck. He was literally just doing donuts up in the sky, and he's like, I'm ready to, <laughs> as you'd say, uh, Delta, I'm ready to go port to my wife. So yeah. <laughs> we're cutting through this storm like butter. Yep, so that was cool. Other than that, it wasn't too crazy. I had like a fucking dude. Oh, my fuck. It was so gay. At our hometown airport, mm-hmm. the fucking, you know, the little, um, what do they call it? Planes. Sandy Shores from GTA, oh. fucking sand lot, mm-hmm. <laughs> fucking goddamn ratchet little uh, mm-hmm. airport. Mm-hmm. With the biplane and everything, they got her all oiled up and your propeller plane. <laughs> the biplane, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. They got that thing all all revved up, squeaky clean, and they went to like I went to the gate or whatever to get loaded onto the plane, and it said it was supposed to like the fucking flight left. At like 12 or at noon. And I get there and they say they're going to start boarding at like 11.15. It's like, okay, 45 minutes to get everyone on the plane. That seems reasonable. And then we get there and like I didn't know there was groups that were supposed to go on in order. So it's like group one, two, three, four, five, whatever. And I'm fucking group four. had no fucking idea. Group one's trying to get on the plane and shit. And like, you know, everybody's just crowding around the gate. And this lady comes over the comm. She was just a real ornery old bitch. Mm Mm-hmm. She's like, you can, you guys, I'm not letting, she was doing full Minion and Crocs. I am not letting anybody on this flight until you stop crowding the gate. Go sit down. Not a single person's feet are touching the inside of this terminal until you all leave the gate. And I'm like, oh, Tay Buttweet. <laughs> Relax, dude. And then everybody there is like, dude, we're fucking group one. Relax. Everybody's just being a dick to everybody. I'm like, oh, my God, I can't handle this, guys. (laughs) Chill. So then my flight was was fucking late, and I had a 40-minute layover for my second flight, which swiftly turned into a 20-minute layover because we were fucking so goddamn late. And I had to, like, literally run on the little thingy where where the ground moves underneath your feet. So I was like moving at two times speed. It was kind of sick. By running, I, you know, I was speed walking. But... Yeah. Or maybe I was walking at average pace. Yeah, know, walking but... as normal as you possibly can. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then I went on the horizontal escalator thingy that makes you go fast. It was overwhelming. So now I am I'm in a new joint. Pod's still coming out at Thursday afternoons. Nothing and anything else. Crazy's going on. You guys won't tell a fucking difference. Other than I'm going to be a pussy now and maybe not yell anymore. Not that I yelled Yeah, before, like you but... yelled so much you always would say that. You're like, I can't wait to just yell and scream and shout I know, in the basement. I used to be a big yeller. Did. I used to be a big yeller. And now I just get my mic really close to my mouth and then I just uh, talk loudly. And that gets the job done. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm gay. So yeah, that's neat. Um, some other news. I went on a podcast this last week. That was pretty fun. Yeah, what podcast was it, Bert? Oh, on our last guest that we had on's podcast, the Variety Show. That was quite fun. Um, I, however, am a shitty guest. Yes. A shitty co-host. I second so. that, yes. <laughs> yeah, we were even talking after the fact for a bit and I'm just like yeah I need like uh, some serious like cause there's a little bit more interview style where she'll just kind of say stuff and ask questions and shit and then I'm like yeah I'm not the right guy for this <laughs> but I don't think it was terrible I think if she cut it right it would it would sound okay but no I mean it was a lot of fun though Go check it out. Actually, it's not going to be. It's probably not going to be out, out for, a while. for a couple weeks. Cool. Yeah, L L L. But check out the Discord for when I eventually post that I did it. Should probably do that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But yep, so that was fun. Hmm. What else happened? You have anything fun happen? Nope. Damn. I wonder. Actually, speaking of that ladies podcast. Um, we needed topics and I'm like, okay, let's pull out of the B and B topics that we have. No, here. those are for us. I know. I know. <laughs> this one is so ass though. I'm like, okay, it'll be okay if I burn it over there. Even though like, you know, I don't know, whatever. So I'm going to see if I can do a better job over here and see if we can turn in anything. Okay. You ready for this? Mm-hmm. So as everybody here knows, cause you're all avid viewers of everything that we do. Watch every episode. Consume. You gobble up every episode, every every highlight, every stream, every everything. You'd know that um, that sometimes I go over to my old cousin Burger's here's house and we hang out, play some games, and then I leave. And it's usually quite late into the afternoon, quite quite late into the evening, maybe I should say, mm-hmm. <laughs> or in or real real early in the morning. This specific one, um, I was leaving at like one o'clock. I think I have in my notes here that it was two in the morning and I'm driving, I'm driving, I'm driving, I'm driving and I get stuck at a fucking red light. Like, cool, cool. Red light at two in the morning. Thanks guys. There's not a single other fucking car and I'm getting pissed off. And then I see a car pull up next to me. There's just this real old bat next to me. Like, gray hair, slouched over the fucking steering wheel, like, gasping for breath. <laughs> like, on her deathbed. Just a fucking skeleton driving a car. Mm-hmm. And uh, at 2 in the morning, you know, I was just trying to rack my brain, like, what the fuck is Granny doing out? <laughs> what the hell is Grandma doing out this early in the morning? Probably had to go get a and, pack of smokes. <laughs> Yeah, Newport supply is running low. Had to go snag some. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like what um Yeah, I guess smokes is a good one. Um Hmm. What else could grandma have been doing out there early? Yeah, no, okay, maybe this is a gay topic. That was it. You yeah, just pulled up to her and she looked like she was about to die and you didn't know why she was out that late. That was the story. Yeah, yeah. It's like what the fuck's an old lady doing out that that late, you know? She was pouring them or she was getting one poured too I guess <laughs> somebody's pouring it to the grandma or she was doing something else crazy I don't know I mean it's just such a weird it's a weird sighting I don't know okay yeah I don't know so you're telling me that for the first time in many many years you got on a plane and moved many, many states away. You're starting a brand new job. You're in a hotel that is completely paid for by your job and it pays for your food each day and pays for the car and everything like that. And the only fucking story you got is that an old lady was driving late at night when you were back home? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Nothing too crazy happened yet. I'm in a new city. It's tons of fun. But yeah, no. It no, was no. an old woman driving I'm on. late at night, and you thought that was worth a topic? Bringing it up. <laughs> I'm just like, shit, what the hell could she be doing? I don't know why I thought that was so funny. 
what was she doing? That was it? It was literally an old woman driving at night? Yeah, maybe that's too hard to try and relate to. I was thinking like, you know... Oh, that's the way I explained it on the other shows. I'm like, okay, so see, we have multiple things here. We have old people. This is a jump off topic. You have old people. You have driving late at night. You have, yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah, I mean, there's so many jump off points. I mean, it's such like a great, it's such a great topic. Okay, jump off then. I'm ready. Yeah, I mean, I kind of did, you know, that's kind of like, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe you got something, but maybe not. I don't have a lot to say if for an older person driving at night. Yeah, I thought there was more tough, to the story. Yeah, you thought wrong. Yeah, I guess so. That's also the same response I got. <laughs> yeah, yeah mid topic. L L L. No, that was not a mid topic. That was a fucking terrible topic. <laughs> yeah, true. Sometimes I forget that mid is mid and not like bad. Oh. You got your top five. Fuck. I was literally just pulling it up. <laughs> no, what the fuck? It's not that time yet. We just started. I was just making sure you got it. Yeah. You do? Yeah. Bert's frantically Googling. Uh, top five <laughs> questions I can ask my cousin. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Did you see we can't shop at Target yet now? I did. That is quite gay. So I mean... um. So, uh, literally. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, there's this guy, I guess, on Twitter named Benny Johnson. And I guess people know who this guy is. I've never heard of him. I want to say he's kind of like Ben Shapiro. Okay. But I don't take my word for that. I have no idea. But I kind of realized Twitter's like a more layman site than Reddit is basically all it is. It's... Yeah, I could see that. Like, you can very much get inside of an echo chamber pretty fucking quickly in uh, Twitter, I think. On Twitter, yeah. It's just like the shit that you follow. It's, and then... it's, more, a pub- it's more of a public uh, Reddit, I guess. Because Reddit's like on one extreme side of the internet, and then Twitter's like more closer to the layman side. Mm-hmm. And... You can find some crazy shit. I had to start blocking people on Twitter because I couldn't stand it. Like Ben Shapiro, I had to unfollow him because he kept liking this page called End Wokeness. Sounds about And it right. had like all this woke <laughs> symbols in it and a circle with a line through it. And huh. I'm like, you know, there might be some things I agree with on this page, but I don't want to see it all the time. I, mm-hmm. I'm good. I mean... Uh, it, I'm I for the longest time I treated Twitter the same way I treated Facebook, but like with celebrities. So Facebook is really tailored to my friends and family that I know, and I can scroll through and see what they're up to and things like that and what they're doing with their lives. Twitter was mm-hmm. kind of the same thing for me, but with famous folks. So. Uh, oh, this is what Hugh Jackman's doing today. Or here is John Travolta's thoughts on trees. Just random shit like that. But Some nice, innocent fun. Yeah, but it's more of a combination of uh, Reddit and gay porn. So, right. um, yeah, so this guy is literally, like, texting, like, or, yeah, he's, he's literally just writing like uh, Alex Jones, and he says, Target is lying to you. Target, we removed satanic items. Reality, here they are. Target, pride section is for adults only. Reality, groomer child mannequins, toddler onesies, books. Target, we relocated the pride display. Reality, front of store kids section watch and then the guy looks like blake from the nutrition arc so here's the thing (laughs) Uh uh-huh people are just gonna start boycotting everything now i think bert i think they might yeah people are just going to literally start bitching about everything now i guess i don't know (laughs) really do i don't don't know i I don't understand like i don't know like (laughs) I heard a pretty good meme. They're saying the new the uh did you see that iFunny meme? It's like 
the new insult of 2023 is going to be you look like you bought a Bud Light from Target or huh. something like that. Nice. Like, damn. Yep. Yeah. There it is. It's fucking flooding in. It's like people aren't even doing it for personal beliefs now. It's like they're doing it to just avoid the woke kind of topics, I feel like. It's like, nope, ain't doing that woke shit. Fuck off. Mm -hmm. It's like, why? Don't know. Gay. (laughs) What more can I say? I don't know. And it's just stupid. And... You know, I think, uh, you know, Tater and I were talking about this, and it's like Target is a business, right? They have the right to sell everything to anybody that wants it. Mm -hmm. Like, they have a ton of things in there. They have, I don't. I didn't know they sell satanic shit, and then when I looked into it, apparently it was a design for a product and the designer was a transgender satanism person and i'm like wow guys (laughs) damn fuck now you can't buy anything you can't appreciate art anymore because somebody did something cool no i'm not saying you should have satanic fucking pride flags on your baby's onesies or anything like that but yeah, yeah, that's a little uh, extreme, I think anybody would say, but nah, I don't know. What do I know? I think yeah. we're starting to get old, Burger. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't understand. Yeah. Like, Also, it's just like, don't buy it. Yeah. Don't like that onesie, don't buy it. Just don't. They, they sell a lot of other beliefs stuff as well. Yeah, it's it's like I told you. Oh, you can't sharp shop at Target anymore because you're supporting a business that is selling satanic stuff. Cool. And I, then I gave you the example of oh, okay. So when I go to Target to buy a Bible, I'm supporting a company that sells Satanism shit. Cool. Mm-hmm. Cool. Your logic is fucking stupid. Yeah, it's kind of cringe. You're just kind of like piling everything in yeah it's literally just like people getting angry for the sake of getting angry yeah i mean it's bad you know i mean it's cool they're like fucking i don't know but to go to that i don't even know i don't know this is the fucking other argument all over again yeah it's just like let them sell whatever they want to sell for the most part but again for the most part like i says like i don't know what a groomer child mannequin toddler onesie books is i don't know what any of that means do you know what a groomer Same. mannequin is <laughs> no i don't i don't even i can't even begin to imagine what that even means. yeah i don't know but like you you don't have to you're not buying it to support that cause anyways and anyways if you are going at it at that angle like i said you can buy something that is against that belief and still be supporting that belief you don't believe in so it's just stupid logic like let a company sell what they want for the most part and move on i'm going to target to buy fucking god of war leave me alone mm-hmm. it's cheaper than gamestop fuck, buddy yeah so yeah i i i don't under i don't understand about that either but also i don't really think target should be selling little kids books on sexuality either right like yeah. they probably shouldn't be doing that but if they do i'm not going <laughs> to stop going there nah like watch this hmm don't like that keep walking yeah that easy yeah it's not like I feel called that I have to go to Target and start burning all their books. Yeah, didn't somebody actually, I feel like I saw a meme of that or something, somebody actually fucking lit a fire. Like, they were, like, protesting hard. Yeah, like They see, lit up a whole section or Yeah, and shit. that's, like, more problematic than what you're trying to accomplish. You can't fucking set stuff on fire in a store, dude. <laughs> yeah, so bad. And I don't, I don't know. It's just, like, there's going to be... All of these phases and stuff. Like, I feel like the whole BLM thing was really big a few years ago. Now I don't hear so much about that. Now it's kind of more about the pride thing and 
mm-hmm. transgender rights, stuff like that. A few years from now, it's probably going to move on to something else. All It's just like what we talked about, how... Normalizing free porn. It's just like music back in the 50s was satanic, and then movies in the 70s were satanic, and video games in the 2000s were satanic, and now satanic is satanic, and it's just like fucking A, guys. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on anymore. Yeah, I don't even know what to be mad about. And it's like we've talked about before. I remember like there was this huge New Age atheism push that was going on in like the 2010s. And they were all talking about how religion's dying and atheism is taking over now. And you had all of these Christian apologetics coming forward and defending their faith and all like uh, Muslim apologetics coming forward and defending their faith. And all of these colleges had these debates like Bill Nine versus Ken Ham and all this shit. Don't mm-hmm. really hear about that no more. Now all I hear is how religion hates gay people and... They're oppressing OG, the minorities. Though, yeah, but they're back. But this is like swung back. Now this is where we are again. Now it's just like hmm, the whole atheism oh, push didn't really work out too much. Now they're going to try to say that we are the immoral ones. Yeah, yeah. It's like, damn, okay. can't everyone just leave each other alone, please? What the hell? It's just like, how can we have to measure cocks? Why can't we just all have our cocks out? Why can't they all just be flopping in the wind? Yeah, what the hell? I saw a moose do that today. He was pissing and it was just fucking... The stream was so tough that it was like swinging all over. Like a fucking lawn ornament. It was really disturbing actually. Sorry. Um. Yeah, I know. It's fucked up. Like what the hell? Just chill, guy. Yeah, I'll just whip your dick out. <laughs> yeah, don't exactly. gotta compare it be proud of what you got you don't have to say well mine's better well my daddy gave me a nicer one and fuck you yeah it's like what the hell man give me a break i liked it a lot better when people were pissed off about politics like oh they're gonna take the taxes away or they're gonna bring up taxes or gas prices are gonna go up and there's not a lot of oil to go around like that was a lot more fun when people bitched about that instead of teaching kids what a boy is <laughs> yeah. yeah this is getting into weird territory it is dude like i liked it when we could like argue like oh college students should pay their student loans or the fucking mortgages are too goddamn high or this uh-huh. and that like that was way more fun to argue about now it's like getting into like people's personal beliefs now and everything like that yeah that ain't good, yeah. That ain't good at all. i don't know i know also like we've talked about this it's like i don't know if it's because i've grown up and i was a kid and i just didn't understand this shit or if this has been an issue all along right i know i notice that all the time i'm like what's going on here did my eyes just get opened or uh <laughs> exactly <laughs> Is this a new thing? Like, holy shit. But also us being white straight males probably has something to do with it too. Probably. Always does. Yeah. We're doing something wrong, I'm sure. <laughs> Depends on who we're we are. We're pissing somebody off. Oh, guaranteed. I saw a thing on uh, Facebook where it said something along the lines of, your triggers are your problem, not mine. Yeah, I like that. And I'm like, that's kind of deep. I like that. To an extent, to an extent, like I do want. Until you're being bad. Yeah, like I do. Can't be naughty. I do want to, yeah, like I do want to be respectful (laughs) for people, but it's just like, I think basically what that saying is, is I am saying stuff that might trigger other people and might not trigger other people or a different group of people, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just like. There's not very many things that are objectively no-nos to to talk about. Right. There's not a whole lot, so... There's a couple. I don't even think so, because there's an appropriate way to talk about anything and everything. Oh, yeah. There really is. There's not one thing, like, it's not like Voldemort in the Harry Potter world where you can never say that no matter what. In the right context, well. in the right context, you can say yeah. anything to to the right people, and people won't even think twice about it. Yeah. So, um, there's things that I will not say or will not talk about due to my uh-huh. own personal comfortability with these topics. <laughs> but in a sense, yeah. there's 
really no, it's just words at the end of the day. It's just topics. So your triggers are your problem, not mine. Don't force them on. Don't try to get me triggered about something. Fuck, you're triggered about something. That fucking seems like a miserable goddamn life. I don't want to start getting pissed off about this (laughs) shit. Look how much of an asshole it turned you into. No thanks. I'm good. (laughs) Exactly. What the fuck? So. Keep me out of it. Yeah. Yeah. No, so at the end of the day, to me, it's all what's what what's in his heart. Yeah, what does he mean when he says this? It's like Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan said it's not racism; it's a joke. Yeah, some people don't even like that too. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Other people do. Holy chill. Other people do. Uh There's people of that race that was being insulted that don't care, Mm -hmm. and then there is people that are not of that race. That are way more that insulted. A yeah. Whole lot. <laughs> that was a big meme and I funny. Was like, you know, the white straight girls saying, Don't call people gay. Uh huh. Gay people are like, why is this so funny? <laughs> uh huh. It's like chill. I think you're you're missing something here. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can't be like Bert though, to where you are blatantly not joking but then you get backed into a corner and then you just start <laughs> making up oh it was a joke i was being silly i was playing along what i wanted to see how far the joke could go kind of thing you can't do that because that's just lying yeah true, true Bert likes true, to true. do that a lot oh do there's a lot of knowledge when you read books oh i oh <laughs> fuck oh, I, oh, no i was joking I was joking. Of course there's knowledge when you read books. What stupid idiot fucking does actually believes like doesn't believe that? What the hell? Uh-huh. Bert does that a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. True. True. <laughs> it's, it's how I do stuff, you know? Yeah, and people what are like, I, I was joking. It's like yeah, that's not a joke, that's a lie. <laughs> that's a fib. Oh, that's a fib. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I was joking. No, you weren't. You were lying. No, 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 I was joking. No, it was a lie. No, you're serious, buddy. So, yeah, and I don't know. It's just I I strongly think these kinds of things should just be not political. If if somebody, if like the CEO of Target wants to be political, go ahead. But don't have Target itself <laughs> be political. You know what I Bear mean? Bear your weight. Can it be? Bear the weight of your Can't hands. like all businesses just be neutral? So then yeah, I everybody like can enjoy it just fine. Now, if you start out as a particular business, like a faith-based organization or a pride-based organization, you can be as loud as you fucking want. But It's got to be they're trying to, like I was thinking about this. It's like they're trying to dip into other demographics or whatever. Where it's like, I feel oh, like man, I know they're doing quite these, the opposite, now, though. By dipping into those demographics, you're getting rid of a ton of other ones as well. Yeah. It's like the, whatever they say, the vocal minority is the one that's fucking getting, you know, it's like this fucking red haired or blue haired. (laughs) Yeah. Well, I feel like. Making a stink about stuff that normal or, okay, normal's not the right word. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, You're getting (laughs) ringed for that one. Just like I'm sure I'm getting ringed for shit I said already. (laughs) Normal people don't have a problem with You know that. how the word crazy was a really bad word back in the 50s? <laughs> a really bad word now is normal. Yeah, normal is yeah. a bad word now. We can't, <laughs> yeah. That's so cursed. Seriously, you're not allowed to say that one anymore. Uh-huh. <laughs> it does sound kind of bad, but also it's like, fuck. You. It, I mean, but that's the thing. Like, I understood everybody here listening knew exactly what you were talking about, though. Like, and now all of a sudden, it's, there's a reason why they're they're being isolated. I <laughs> uh, wait. That's not what I mean. I mean, like, don't know about that one. <laughs> they are the group, and then everybody. Else <laughs> there's is a reason else. why no one loves you, buddy. <laughs> there's a reason why you're being isolated. Listen. Look into the context. Please. I don't agree oh. with that, but um, <laughs> me neither. <laughs> Bert doesn't agree with what he just said. I was just saying, you know, that's maybe a perspective that somebody could have. 
That is I don't care nothing. about an outlier fucking perspective somebody might have. Queer, you always do that. Well, yeah, I know. Somebody no, on this I'm planet that might have either. that uh, uh, thing. I don't I'm care what that they that's might what these have. Fucking, yeah, that's what I'm saying. These fucking retard CEOs that are making all these stupid, fucking terrible, no good decisions are doing. But why? Why else? Why else do you do this? There's not a fucking market for diversity. It. I feel like I was about to white straight mail it again. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yep, I guess that's good. Diversity is fine. I agree with that. Yeah, diversity is good. But they're starting now, to determining push. Which, well, now you can't really determine which groups are good or bad. Well, exactly. So now that's how racism. Yeah, exists. and now so they're starting to an equal shot. and they're starting to push agendas now, which is not what. That that is not good because when you start pushing any agenda, you're starting to push away other agendas as well. Like that's the whole thing. Sure. Like I think Christian fundamentalism is a big thing where they're trying to make uh, like one country under a religion, right, or something like that. And it's like that's not a good thing to do because all the other ones are going to want to start taking over now. Uh-huh. You know. And then what happens when you're not strong enough to do it now? Uh-oh, Hinduism yeah. is number one. Yeah, Uh-oh, exactly. Now videos. we're a bunch of Hindus now all of a sudden. But, <laughs> like, that's the <laughs> thing. Like, you've got to be neutral uh, with these kinds of things. Like, you can't start forcing these beliefs on anybody. You can't force people to um, believe a certain way. You can't force people to act a certain way because people are going to rebel up from it and they're not going to like it it's important to educate them and it's important to tell them like the history of things but you can't just start forcing people this kind of shit so um you know i feel like they were doing when this whole pride thing was first coming out i think it was fine i think it was cool Mm -hmm. companies were saying they support that LGBTQ community. And honestly, like that was like, I was, I don't want to say I was a huge supporter for it. Like I was fucking tattooing flags on my wrist and shit like that. But (laughs) I was, I was in support of them getting the respect that they deserve as a human being. And also I know that community has a very high suicide rate. So I felt like we were moving in the right direction by saving people's lives. But then Mm -hmm. it started to get very specific and we started throwing in all of these other terminologies and different things where people were starting to get attracted to tractors and animals and people were starting to identify as airplanes. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, continue, sorry. (laughs) Yeah, and then... Pardon me, that was me. But the thing is, is is that is people's personal opinions and views and things like that. Don't tell me I should be accepting when a fucking five-year-old wants to be a girl when they're a boy. That's not, that is an opinion thing right there. Now, if people want to be gay or not, that's, I don't think that's really a choice. I mean, people can't help if they're attracted to uh, the same gender. However, people have a mental problem when they want to identify as a bulldozer. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, exactly. I want to yeah. I want to bang my Peter Bell. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Please. Seriously, when people want to start having fucking sex with garbage bags, like okay, do <laughs> that like on your own time, but don't start selling garbage bags are sexy. <laughs> kind of <laughs> fucking stickers for your car. Exactly, yeah. like I'm a trash bag banger. Like yeah. Like, don't start telling me that I should be... Just don't tell me what to fucking do, please. <laughs> yeah. I liked it better when we were saying respect everybody. Okay, I can do that. That's fine. You want to be a garbage bag humper? I don't fucking care. But uh-huh. when you're starting yeah. to tell me, like, oh, it's okay to fucking want to fuck garbage bags. No, there's something fucking <laughs> wrong with you, dude, but... You do what uh-huh. you do. I mean, if you're not hurting anybody, go ahead and do anything. I'm not going to stop you. I ain't going to stop you. Yeah, but um, 
I also don't so like you know I I I do lean left a little bit on people should be able to do what they want and whether I agree with them or not is not the point but I don't go so far mm-hmm. into it like Andrew from the official podcast where he said they're two grown adults that are consenting they can do whatever they want N- no Andrew it's it's an uncle and a nephew they shouldn't be <laughs> able to do that <laughs> Yeah, that's a little different. Yeah, now. it's like, that's his uncle. I don't want to fuck Scott. And if I wanted to, society should tell me, no, that's wrong. <laughs> society should call me gay. <laughs> yeah, society should call me an inbred. That's what those words are used for. Burger, don't do that. Fuck. That's incest. That's bad. <laughs> Quit, slaps your hand. <laughs> no, stop trying to fuck Scott. Damn it, quit. Yeah. Just the way he looks at me. I don't know. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, yeah, like, it's just like, you see how there's a difference between, like, okay, yeah, I mean, I, I respect the gays. I respect the transgenders. Uh, I don't respect incest. I'm sorry. I don't expect uh, fucking inanimate <laughs> objects. I don't respect that. That's not good. You shouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, do what you want. I'm gonna make fun of you and I'm gonna call you fucking weirdo. (laughs) But don't make a fucking children's book about it. (laughs) Yeah, the children's book's the fun part. Here's Burger. He's sexually attracted to his uncle, and that's okay. (laughs) Then you're like, what the fuck? That's not okay. It's like when you know when your main clientele's drooling on your product. (laughs) It's probably not for them. You know, they're six gnawing on the edge of the book. <laughs> like, Jesus. Yeah. Christ. Do you, you know, another thing with this whole quote unquote satanic and groomer child man against toddler onesie books, whatever the <laughs> fuck this means, Alex Jones. But uh-huh. um, I bet like that is like a small corner of Target and then the rest is quote unquote regular Target shit. Mm hmm. Yeah, you're probably right. Like, did he have to, like, look under the shelves and find a fucking... <laughs> For real. Something that he didn't like? Fuck, there's no theme. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I just, again, I want everything to be neutral. I'm not saying I want to ignore everything. It's like, oh, if there's some fucking shit, keep it away. I don't want to know about it. Ignorance is bliss. Like, I don't, I don't think that's the best thing, but also, um, just... Just keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth, dude. Like, seriously. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Please sell product to the masses. And But honestly, like, this fucking Groomer Child Mannequin's Toddler Onesie book is, like, so obscure, right? Like, that is such, like, a specific uh-huh. fucking thing. Like, isn't that, like, one of those things that are only sold in special stores? I was literally just thinking about like, that. It's like there's places for stuff like exactly. this, right? Exactly. Like, why is this at Target? And not even this crazy fucking left-leaning liberal agenda shit. Like there's just weird shit that you just can't get in regular <laughs> stores. That's that's exactly. normal, right? Like that's always been a thing. I can't even get my nice shampoo at most places. I can't yeah. even get a case for my phone anymore unless I go to a very specific store <laughs> uh-huh. for it now. Like it's a gay. If you like these types of stores are supposed to sell like the generic stuff of these things or like their brand. Like I know Target has like a bunch of like cute stuff. I feel like you could look at Walmart shit and you could look at Target and you could figure out which one's Target and Walmart. Oh, I know what's going on. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. So like, can we keep it at that? And then the more obscure stuff again, not, I'm saying right leaning stuff. I'm saying left leaning stuff. I'm saying Bert leaning, whatever fucking gay libertarian (laughs) worthless bullshit that he fucking believes in stuff. Go to special stores that sell that. I don't know if Target should sell make America great again hats. Don't. What, yeah, it's like can't, Target is the store that you go there to buy, like, things, like, like just everything. Exactly. You know? But it's like, that's like, a, that's like more than everything. That's like specialty. Yeah, if you like MAGA stuff, go to MAGA.com and buy it. Don't mm-hmm. you, sh- you don't need to go to Target to do that. Just like you don't need to buy a Groomer Child Mannequin Toddler Onesie book. There's commas uh-huh. in there, by the way. Like, it's not one thing, but I'm just going to keep fucking <laughs> Fuck it, being it. gay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, 
So that's, I don't know. I kind of liked it when it was more just broad. Mm -hmm. You go there, you go to these regular stores for regular stuff, and then you go to the more obscure stuff. Like, I don't expect Target to sell um, NFL Street 2. I I would expect GameStop to do that, so... Mm-hmm. And again, this and this has nothing to do like with my personal beliefs. Like, even if Target does sell a shit, I don't give a fuck. I'm still gonna go in there and fucking use their shitter and then go buy some cool board oh. game. Yeah, and get some popcorn and yeah, zip around. They got this store. new thing, yeah, like where it's like a fast self checkout for snacks. Like you can just walk up and get an icy there, scan your card, and walk away. It's pretty neat. Damn. Yeah. That's big. No, you're supporting a satanic store. It's like the satanic stuff couldn't get further away from this icy. <laughs> like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I care about that, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. like, do I think they should sell that? No, like I said, it should be generic. But uh, do I, uh, or generic, it, sh- it should be generic stuff. Will I stop doing that? No. Oh, I'm not supporting fuck? satanism by buying a fucking cherry Coke slushy. Eat a dick. <laughs> Yeah, there's a disconnect here that I feel like you're not picking up on. Well, and then again, Sean, whatever. Yeah, Sean, you're being gay. All, and <laughs> and also you're starting to split hairs. You're also starting to really fucking uh, be an extremist about this as well. And if you're going to like I my like if there's one thing I want to be in my life is consistent. Like if I'm going to hate uh-huh. one thing because of this, I want to hate all things because of that. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I want to... That's why in Madden, I bitch when something good happens, and I bitch when something bad happens. Oh, just throw a mm-hmm. fucking dot to Jamar Chase. Well, that shouldn't have been a dot. That's a bad game. Oh, I just threw a bad pick. That shouldn't have happened. That's a bad game. Uh-huh. I want to bitch about the highs, <laughs> the lows, and the mediums. I ain't just mm-hmm. going to bitch when it only supports my agenda or goes against it. I want to bitch yeah, about that's everything. The best way to do it. What the hell? So the reason why I bring that up is if you are going to attack Target because they support a view that you don't agree with, then you have to be like that with everything in your life. That means any time anybody doesn't support your view, you can't associate with them. Mm -hmm. You can't give them a ride. You can't offer them some money. You can't buy them lunch. You can't fucking socialize with them. You have to be consistent across all of it. You can't just pick and choose what you like. Yeah. Because if Target is doing something like this, I guarantee there's other big brands that are doing other things like this as well. Oh, yeah. Gotta be. And you just can't pick Target. Well, Walmart does the same thing. Walmart's right next to Daddy's house, so. <laughs> exactly. I know, because that's how I was with the fucking Bud Light thing. I'm like, oh, I don't really want to get Bud Light no more. But I hear about Target, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm still going to go to Target, buddy. Yeah, yeah, no, and it's just like, huh, uh, Bud Light uh, thinks trannies are the greatest people in the world. Mm, don't know if I agree with that, but I'm still buying Budweiser. Uh huh. Hey, watch this. I just bought Budweiser and don't agree with them. Wow. And look at this. My dick is still on the right side of my body. <laughs> yeah, look out. at that. Oh, wow. You oh, bought sure, that. So you, that. You, you agree with them. I didn't say that. Well, you bought it. Yeah, I bought it. So you agree with them? No. Yes, you do. No, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. That's physical proof. No. <laughs> That's it. Nope. See how easy this is? <laughs> <laughs> that easy. Ah, so you want to be a tranny, huh? You just bought a Bud Light. It's like, nope, nope, no. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Say nothing else. Nope, nope. Wrong. <laughs> Try again. Yeah, it's 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 literally that simple. Don't <laughs> don't tell me what I'm doing, <laughs> please, please. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I'm still shopping at Target. Yeah, I know. Target's a, Target's a solid. Target's a cool fucking store. They got a lot of cool shit there. It's a nice little joint. Yeah. yeah. I don't... Yeah, I don't... I, I, I just... They... It's like... 
I, you also got if you're gonna sell one thing, you got to sell all of it, though, right? Like you can't just have one political view. You have to sell all of it. So you literally have to have these transgender onesie mannequins right next to <laughs> "Make America Great Again." Mm-hmm. Kind of shit. Like you got, <laughs> like you got to have all of it, buddy. Yep. Well, you gotta. Otherwise, uh, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, apparently there's, have you, let me see if I can find it. There was this um, baseball player that was bitching about these nuns that their stadium was allowing, and he didn't like it. What the fuck were the name of those honkies? Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. What? Yeah, dude. Look up these fucking ho- honkies. Wait, I haven't even seen it yet. I gotta see, just based on what this is, are they like morbidly obese? Nope. Okay. Indulgence makes me think uh, that way. Yo, these guys are kind of bad. Yeah, it's like a bunch of, it's like drag queens dressed up as nuns. This is kind of sick. The sisters. So it's of, just white makeup with a beard poking through. That's kind of. The sisters, sisters of perpetual indulgence, also called Order of Perpetual Indulgence, as a protest and a street performance organization that uses drag and religious imageries to, what is this satire, satirize issues of sex, oh, yeah. gender, and morality, and fundraise. It's like they turn into a joke. To satirize, I think. Yeah. So then it's the Dodgers, the L.A. Dodgers uh, mm-hmm. baseball team, honored them at, like, Fuck. one of their baseball games. Okay. Let me guess. The Dodgers got in deep doo Yeah, so. <laughs> like, probably real bad deep Yeah, deep. so Clayton Kershaw is a huge baseball player. Uh, like Aaron Rodgers in the baseball world. And it says Dodgers Clayton Kershaw disagreed with organization's decision to honor Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. Hmm. Yeah, the Los Angeles Dodgers have faced immense backlash. So, yeah, that's basically what Bert said. Yeah, they're in major dog shit right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Have faced that... uh, They have faced immense backlash for their their decision to honor the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, a.k.a., yeah, they're in deep shit, buddy. Yeah, they're going to hell. The star pitcher is not on board with the decision. Clayton Kershaw, a three-time Cy Young Award winner, announced last Friday that the team will relaunch its Christian Faith and Family Day. The veterans pitcher said it was in response to the organization's decision to honor the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. I think we were always going to do it this year, but I think the timing of our announcements was sped up. <laughs> Picking a date and doing these different things was part of it as well. Yes, it was in response to the highlighting of them. Um, and basically another guy said that they are very, like, they really make fun of religion apparently. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, he says, "Yeah, yeah, that that's yeah, that would make sense." Yeah, yeah, with the whole satirized shit, it's probably just asshole. Yeah, I, I they don't look very friendly. They don't look like nice people. <laughs> yeah, I don't agree with making fun of others people's religion. Kershaw says it has nothing to do with anything other than that, uh, and also it says the left wing group has a history of anti. Catholic messaging and shocking performances. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think it's just drag queens dressed up as Catholics, nuns. Yeah. And again, it's just like, can we uh, see, like, you see how specific that is? Can we, like, if you mm-hmm. want to honor the LGBTQ people, that's fine. But why do you have to do the Sisters of Indulgence or whatever they're fucking called? Like, why do you have to be so specific with that? I I don't like that. Now we're starting to push an agenda. Now we're not being diverse anymore. We're starting to push a certain agenda. Right. You can be generic with it, I guess. Mm-hmm. So. Be more subtle or something where people won't get fucking pissed off. Yeah, well, this is the B&B Pride Month episode. June's coming up here, so this Shit is all over is. the place, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. So... 
Yeah, probably not a good idea to honor a group that makes fun of other people's religions, though. That's not cool. No. Get some big trouble. Don't know what that has to do with baseball anyways. Hopefully your top five, on the other hand, doesn't make fun of people's uh, personal beliefs. It doesn't. It actually, I'm pretty interested in it. It might be a little, I don't want to call it grotesque, but it's grotesque. What is? My top five. Ooh. Yeah. People's, I don't even know. Bert's literally going to fucking make fun of people's genders or something like that. Oh, oh yeah. I ain't going to talk about people's religion, but Mm -hmm. their mothers. Oh, they're on the table. Bert's going to be like, which race has the hottest moms? (laughs) Well, that's an easy one. (laughs) Whichever (laughs) mom has the biggest heart. (laughs) Yeah, the Italians, whatever. They fucking make everything with love. I don't know, I'm being gay. Oh, you're comparing races now. That is racism. (laughs) I am. Nice. But they're white, so it doesn't matter. It can't be racist. Um, (laughs) Fuck. I'm getting kicked out of my hotel, buddy. No, but uh, yes, so for this week's top five. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the section of the podcast where one of us brings a top five list to the other co-host, and that co-host has to guess as many in the five as they possibly can. We try to make it fun. We try to make it exciting. We just talked about fucking political shit for the past 45 minutes, so we're going to talk about balls and wieners now. Bring it back to classic Burt and Burger fashion. Burt has the top five. I'm going to try to guess it. Let's go, Burt. Let me have it. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Shit. Oh, you're going to... Oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> Considering what we were just talking about, this is going to be very fun. So in front of me, this is okay. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. So what I have in front of me, Burger, i like you to guess the top ten. No. Nope. Um, I'd like you to guess the top five. Okay. <laughs> Most expensive medical procedures. Most expensive again? So your last one was most expensive alcohol drinks, and now we have to do... I literally... Well, most it's expensive. I did one that was like most popular, and most popular doesn't work because it's an opinion. Most popular what? Like most popular. Like I thought I did most popular at one point, and you're like, don't do that, that's bad. You did like so the best be like, actresses of 2019. Yeah. and that's Most like popular director, could work because it could be off of how many people get it. Or buy it. Yeah, but... Oh, that would be a good one, but that would be mid. I know expensive just makes so much sense. Yeah. I, okay, we're doing another top five expensive. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Getting a toe sewed onto the back of your ear. What <laughs> What kind of fucking question is this? Uh, uh, fucking getting a CAT scan. Um, getting Medical procedures. Getting uh, your throat tested for strep. Um, oh, no. Checking to see if you have gangrene. Um, uh, he, <laughs> oh, actually, tracheotomy is on here. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's your throat. Usually requires long recovery to, oh, okay. Yeah, that's basically ripping your throat out and giving you a new pipe, new throat pipe. That's number nine, $205,000. <laughs> so not even on the this list. list you try fucking again. sucks. It's like mainly surgeries and transplants and stuff, but I don't think you can get number one. I think that's the challenge on this one. I think this list fucking blows. <laughs> nah. Um. There's no way. Getting a leg stitched onto your forehead. Um, <laughs> chopping both of your legs off and sewing them onto your shoulders. Um, Turning me into tusk. Yeah. Um... <laughs> You can do that for free. Getting stitches on my pinky. Um, Nah. Surgically gluing socks to my feet. Nope. Epoxy socks. Nope. Number six is open heart surgery. I'm not doing this list. This is so (laughs) fucking stupid. What do you mean? Oh, my God. I'm literally not even doing this. (laughs) Number two is heart transplant. Yeah, shitty list. Number three is bone marrow transplant. This is literally a retarded fucking Number list. Four. Why did you think this was a good Lung idea? Transplant. Five is liver. There's no way you can guess number one, I though. don't want to. I don't care. It's intestinal transplant. I'm tell- okay, 
Top five's done. A million. <laughs> We're done with top five. Twenty-one thousand dollars. That's insane. No more That's top so five. Much money. <laughs> it just doesn't like make sense in my brain. Yeah, you you're literally like, pulling literally big don't crap understand. with fucking challenges right now with this top five challenge. But I just we're done. I just, I just don't. Top get five it. is over. Just like booby time amongst the co-hosts is over. Listen, such a great. Sorry, segment. ladies and gentlemen. Hope you didn't enjoy that section that much. I like it. I like participating, but I don't like being the giver. Top five. Most I like receive. I don't like giving. Surgeries. Yeah. That used to be like a. That used to be cool. a term. You're like a taker or something. I don't know. Taker of dick. I don't know. Yeah. That's that's that one. I have so many great ones that pop in my mind and I'm like, no, it's gay. Like top five phone distribute phone creators. I did top five video game companies too. That didn't work. I'm like, that's gay. You can just guess that easy peasy great courage. Oh, by the way, top five is brought to you by insurance broker. AOC dash insurance broker dot com. Compare your international health insurance. So, so yeah, check that out. Loki you just tried to crowbar in a sponsor. We're sponsored by an insurance company. <clears throat> That'd be kind of sick. I was trying to find other stuff too. I, I and then I was looking at my phone and I forgot that. Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> he left the call. <laughs> I think he's pissed. I don't even think this episode was happening, to be honest. It's the like fuck? fucking 10 o'clock. Yo, Editor Bert. My Discord time. just crashed fucking hard. It's midnight for him. Fucking crazy bastard. <laughs> oh, he fucking texted me. What did he say? Well, let's see. Oh, his Discord actually just turned on. <laughs> oh, no. Your list was so fucking retarded that it literally crashed my entire laptop. Well, guys, just in case this is the finale, um, this is our best episode we've had ever. Doug and WATP, if you guys are listening to this one, don't. Um, this has nothing to do with any of our other episodes. This is not a representation of the Burnberry Podcast. Um, yeah, it's just bad. Just don't, don't listen to this one, guys, please. Turn back. Not our best work. So yeah, guys, that's episode 176 of the Burton Burger Podcast. You can find us on Spotify, YouTube, um, Apple Music, forward slash podcasts. Um, you can also find us on Twitter and TikTok and Twitch. The TTT, TTT ta ta ta. And just remember, guys, it's just comedy. Or wait, we're just bringing the family all into the podcast world. Come here to listen to me and Burger make jokes that your uncle and dad make and take too far at the family barbecue or something like that. Bang, 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 bang. Just comedy, guys. Chill. Have a good one. It's been a banger. Signing off, Burton Burger. Yo, 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 yo. Bye bye. Take care, everybody. Later, bye. Later, bye. Later, bye. Later, bye. I'm going to edit this in um, in a lower version to be burger. Actually, I'm probably just going to pull it from another episode. And you guys are going to have no fucking idea. You guys are going to have no fucking clue that I bamboozled the shit out of you.